You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, welcome to another awesome episode of Ask Drone You. My name is Paul. And my name is Rob, and you're listening to episode 628. Thank you guys for hanging out with us today. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you're getting a lot of flying in, doing what you love to do, doing what you do that is the reason you listen. And uh, Definitely. And guys, we're taking on a very specific question today that's just about one particular flight movement. And you may be asking yourself, why are we talking about this one particular flight movement? Well, in all honesty, when I do a lot of trainings, I see people make this mistake over and over. And it's the only flight movement you should never do. Do you know what it is? Rob, why don't you go ahead and play that question? Hey, Rob. Hey, Paul. This is Armando from Denver. I'm a drone new member. My question is about a quick descent with my Inspire 2. What is the maximum descent speed I can do without falling out of the air? Thanks for all you guys do. Cheers. <laughs> thank you for the accent, and thank you for the question. AskDroneU.com. If you have a question, get them in, and we'll get them on. Definitely, guys. Now, what you may find on the DJI website is not always... It's not always perfectly accurate, as they say, because, for example, they say the max descent speed is 13.1 feet per second or four meters per second. But here's the thing. Remember right before the question, what's the one flight mode or the one flight movement you should never do? Do you know the answer to that question, Rob? Straight down. Boom, baby. Gosh, I'm so glad you know that. Even if I go really, really slow. You can go really, really slow and still go straight down, especially with today's um, birds. They right. all have cantered motors, so the motors are not facing straight down. Mm -hmm. So your prop wash is actually extended a little bit beyond the right. bird. So um, you can still go straight down, but just really slow. Now, if you go straight down fast, you get caught in what's called um, vertex, uh, vortex ring state. And essentially what's happening is you are flying in your own prop wash. Imagine if you're pushing the cylinder of air down, but you moved into the own your own cylinder of air. So as you're trying to actually push yourself up, you're getting sucked into your own cylinder of air. Um, now you may be asking yourself, well, if I ever get caught in, uh, in that prop wash, right. how do I get out of it? Simply roll right or roll left out of it. Do not try to increase your throttle. That actually makes it worse. Um, so again, this is not as prevalent as it used to be. If you're flying mm. an old Phantom 1 or Phantom 2, you can get in vertex ring state really easy. And so what are the ramifications? What's going to happen? You're going to fall right to the ground. Okay. And, and it's going to, like, essentially the bird goes wah, 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 back and forth as it just rocks. And I'm giving audio, you know, examples yeah, for it's nice. our and, audio and listeners. So. Very good. And you lose control. Oh, yeah. Complete mm. control, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. You mm. just have no stick input. So when people mm. freak out, it's like, roll out, roll out, roll out. And I like... Like sometimes if I have really advanced pilots here, I will purposefully put them in a vertex ring state with an older drone and be like, get out of it. Oh, so, gosh. No, I like, you know what? I really appreciate John Rupert's <laughs> take on this when he's like, back in the day, my flight instructor said, if I'm not out here flying in the nasty weather with you, giving you the opportunity to have this emotional experience, if I'm not there with you, what were to happen if I wasn't there with you? You know, what were to happen if I didn't do this with you? You wouldn't know how to fly in extreme conditions and you wouldn't know how to A, emotionally overcome it and B, what to do. So I think it's important that I take you through the really difficult flight training because you're going to already have gone through it once. And if you have done it in the field, it's going to be a lot easier. And you're not going to freak out. Fair enough. Which is all of what aviation uh, decision making is about. Right. Quick decisions. So when DJI talks about the 13.1, was that feet per second? Is that what it was? Um, yes. Are they talking straight down? Yes. Okay. So that's the limit. Now, I always tell people whenever you're moving down, you should be moving down in some sort of rise over run type of movement. So if I'm pitching forward two meters per second, I'm going down one meter per second. And in our courses and videos, we talk about the calculations to get smooth camera movement while moving down. Um, 
and uh, again, how to get different things. But right. in all honesty, you can move down at the ground at 40 miles an hour. It's just yeah. all about how. Yeah. So because they say, you know, what is it? Uh, max descent speed, four meters per second. I could put this in a tornado pattern and get at least eight or nine, no mm. problem. So it's all about how. Yeah, of course, that tornado pattern and doing it well and doing it in sort of a tight space isn't easy. No. I mean, it takes some practice on on the sticks, obviously. Totally, do, totally, totally does. So I hope that answers his question. Um, the reason I wanted to cover this question, guys, is, again, I see a lot of people just moving their drones straight down. Uh, you shouldn't do that, especially over people. Uh, you should never be flying over people. But anyway, I hope this podcast helps you. If you have a question, go to askadroneu.com. Send us those business questions. Send us those new drone questions. I love those. And most importantly, go out there and fly and have a good day. That's what it's all about. Thanks for watching, guys. My name is Paul. My name is Rob. This is Ask Drone You.